you know, a, a lot of guys feel that they could shoot, you know, they could do on camera yeah. sex just because of the privacy of their own home. They they feel like uh -huh. they're the man. But once, you know, you turn on the cameras and the pressure's on yeah. and, you know, there's other people around and people are getting paid and the, the, yeah. the location is, the time is ticking on that. Um, most dudes can't can't perform mm -hmm. from from what I've been told by by a lot of the girls that we've interviewed um, did you have any problems in the beginning oh yeah you know I, I think um, getting acclimated to um, people being in the room is should not necessarily be that big of a deal because you know as young men um, sometimes you end up in situations where um, there could be you and a couple of your boys having sex with one girl. So the experience of a two-on-one or even a three-on-one or, or train, if you will, um, has happened in a lot of young men's lives. So in yours, you were doing trains. Um, when I was, I was in a number of. When we were in college. We did a number of things in college that you know <laughs> are regrettable and perhaps should have been caught on camera. But um, you know, um, but with the introduction of a camera. Is another element. So you got the multiple guys in this in, in this circumstance. Then you got the camera, um, and then you have you know the professionalism. These people, whether or not they're being compensated. So those are three major dynamics that can play your mental. So I would say the time I spent shooting for Caesar Video um, from '96 to '98, you know, really was very, very. Uh, uh, Preparatory, if you will. Were there situations where you just couldn't perform? On yes. Camera? Yeah. I mean, you, you mean the beginning, or, yeah. or I mean, yeah, in the be uh, in the beginning. Like I said, you know, I went made it to the major leagues in '98, March of '98, and um, and there's situations that have been um, tragedies, you know. <laughs> right. I'll give you one story. I went first time I was going to shoot for um, Bang Brothers. Um, they flew me down to Miami. This is only a couple of years ago. And um, I don't really have, you know, I'm not really um, that good with petite girls. You know, it's not really my cup of tea. So it's difficult for me physically sometimes to find myself attracted enough to do a strong scene. So the girl I work, was going to work with was really, really hot. And, um, but she just was not something that I really could get motivated well enough to, to do the scene with. So I bombed. And then I'm, now I'm, I remember... I'm in Miami, They there's already several thousand dollars worth of getting me there, putting me up, the whole deal. And um, so that was a difficult scenario to uh, to to face up to. You I, know? I had heard that there was like an in injection you could do, mm -hmm. like into your penis, you, know, <laughs> you know, that if you just need to get hard and everything else has failed. It's very true. It's very true. Yeah. It's been around for, for I, I, I'd assume it's been around for decades, but... Um, in what you're talking about is called uh, Caverjet. Okay. And Caverjet is um, uh, something that was really developed for um, those with paralysis. Um, <laughs> okay, this is heavy duty the, shit. Yeah, or those, <laughs> or, or, or those you know, suffering from diabetes to the point where they do have um, impotence problems. And, and that particular substance, whatever it is, let me tell you something, that could raise the dead. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Problem is, is when the when used for pornographic, like the guys in pornographic productions, it's it it perhaps um, works very very well for them. But I think it might be a little bit beyond what is necessary. Half the label's locked up. Yeah. How difficult is that <laughs> to deal with? You know, in the label. Keep pushing. We miss the homies. We wish they was out. That's a real conversation. Nothing, nothing was scripted. That's a real conversation he was having with Orlando Scandrick. And he likes Dread. And I ended up going to their house. Played her the video. The next morning she asked me to send it to her. I had no idea she was going to post it. And we woke up in the morning and the world was going crazy.